Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, this video is one of our periodic, just sort of visa and immigration updates I kind of like to do. Um, as every expat here in Thailand knows, the, uh, the overall immigration environment seems to be somewhat rather in a constant period of flux, it seems like. There's always something slightly changing with respect to visas and immigration in Thailand. And this is just a quick update about some of the things I've heard. Um, with respect to uh, multi-entry visas, the trend seems to be continuing that multi-entry visas or issuance thereof is becoming more and more constricted. Uh, fewer and fewer consulates and embassies overseas seem willing to issue such documents, uh, at least um, without an extreme amount of documentary uh, evidence to support it. Uh, so I don't see that trend particularly uh, reversing, uh, definitely not reversing it. I don't even particularly see it slowing down. I think if anything, fewer and fewer multi-entry visas are going to be issued abroad. There are a few posts left that do it, but it's, it seems to be fewer and farther between. Uh, another thing uh, this video is here to discuss is the issue of 90-day reporting, uh, specifically from an article which was written in... Uh, this was an article from, I think it's from the 4th of May, in fact I think I can find it here, it looks like, or 10th of May, well I took a 10th of May 2017, but I believe it's from the 4th of May 2017, from the Buriram Times, um, and it appears that up there in Buriram, according to this article, um, there's getting to be a larger and larger um, push for more information about the res uh, proof of residence for foreigners living in Thailand. So basically it seems like the officers are looking for more information specifically as to the where's and the details of foreigners' residences up in that area at that local immigration office. And it also appears that there's some issues with respect to, for lack of a better term, the Thai side of this equation, which seems to be that immigration officers are becoming more they're requiring Thai people who have a Farang living with them in their home to, in some cases, actually come down to immigration and actually sign in person that that individual lives in that specific location. There's also some other things in here about um, some tightening up just generally with respect to, you know, overall, essentially due diligence and data gathering with respect to uh, foreigners living in Thailand or at least up there. Something to keep in mind uh, specific to this article is that specifically from the Bury Round Times, it appears to be from it appears to be written by an individual who is actually up in that location. Um, each province has its own immigration office. And in a lot of ways, especially from a regulatory standpoint, the implementation of the immigration policies in the form of the actual on-the-ground rules imposed on foreign nationals seeking things like visa extensions or reporting in like for 90-day reports, these things vary from province to province. So while one province may be undergoing, you know, a, a periodic tightening up of the books or whatever you want to call it, where they're basically going through and just getting some more information some just on individuals, the province over may not be doing anything of the kind. And so it's very difficult in these situations to, to tell anyone with absolute specificity exactly what or exactly how these regulations are going to be enforced and implemented on an individual basis in an individual province. So again, it's very case specific. I often joke that a lot of Thai immigration matters are like snowflakes. Uh, every one of them is unique. Every case is unique. Um, it appears it appears that at least as of the time of this filming, uh, Burry Ram is is the immigration office up there uh, appears to be expending resources in order to gain further information regarding the residents of the foreigners um, who reside in that particular jurisdiction. Um, other provinces may not be going out of their way to do this at all. As previously mentioned, things like the good guys in, bad guys out policy, and the overall the overall enforcement mechanism of immigration here in Thailand, it's getting harder. It's, it's tightening up and it, where once it was relatively, I won't say easy, but it was, it was essentially possible 
for individuals to, you know, essentially live in Thailand utilizing things like tourist visas. And there was even a time where the 30 day stamp could be, you know, it could be used sort of in an, at an ad infinitum basis. That's really come to an end. Um, Thai, Thai immigration officials are very serious, very adamant about not only enforcing immigration law, but the good guys in, bad guys out appellation is, it seems to be the crux of their, of their, um, of their policy. And they want to make sure that the people that are living in Thailand, especially long term, are, you know, good guys, for lack of a better term. And they want to keep the bad guys out. And the presumption is that an individual who can't come up with a genuine reason for remaining in Thailand, uh, that might not be an individual that they want to be in Thailand. And again, this 90-day reporting stuff, uh, it appears that they're, they're not cracking down, that's not the right word, but tightening up. Uh, with respect to the information that they gather uh, pertaining to foreign nationals living in Thailand.